Hey, there you are. Welcome back to the Great Food Safari. I'm super excited to be with you once again in this beautiful place. Look at this place, it's simply amazing. Everywhere you look, there's vegetables, there's fruits, there's everything. And I'm going to be dishing out something of my own using these babies right over here just for you. So you stay glued to the Great Food Safari. This is Lal. He is the owner of this beautiful Korotua, right? So, Lal, I mean, what is the name? I don't know if you have a name. I don't know if you have a name. I don't Lalaiye, ta punchu da uak kone. Apni to puluand me karal deka kudar matarang yanda din na puri kya ma khadan de ani. Waam to orla din na ko manar hunda hunda apni to me karal deka. Usually, you find this now in hotels. They give it to scrub your back. The loofah. It has become so popular and it's been exported as well. But I am going to create a dish from this. Now that you're here, now that you're in the village, you might as well cook something. Beautiful, look how beautiful it is. And you know, it just gives you the temptation to go and try something out. So I'm going to make something fabulous with this. Let's see, I'm not decided yet, but I'm going to make something fabulous, okay? Let's go with me. Stuck on you, I got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just Hey, welcome to another edition of the Great Food Safari. It's been fantastic. I've been going around this beautiful landscape, uh, plucking vegetables. And you remember, uh, the, earlier on, we went to the Korotua and we got this ridge ground. Now, we all know it as Vatakolu, or else some call it the loofah as well. Now, I've got two of these beautiful uh, vegetables that I plucked in the morning and we are going to make a fabulous uh, dish which inspires a little bit of Thai cuisine as well because we will be using fish sauce, soya sauce and some oyster sauce as well but it is a fantastic dish I'm telling you you need to try it out okay now I'm going to be using only one this one I'm going to take it back home dry it and use it to scrub my back yeah first of all need to uh, give it a little bit of a see how tender it is you know it just cuts through the blade just cuts through unbelievable it's so tender so what I'm going to do is just take off what I'm doing today you're going to try it out for sure so we'll get rid of now even the skin I'm telling you my mom and I used to love this dish now what you do is you take the skin right you give it a nice, I'm just going to tell you, just give it a nice thin slice and just put it in some oil. Put the usual rampe kara pinches, tel dal, agattam. That is beautiful. So you don't actually need to get rid of this as well. The entire vegetable can be used for cooking. Now what we're going to do, give it a little random cuts like this. If you see the seed inside, right? We need to get rid of that because that cannot be eaten. Just take a spoon and just take off the seeds like so. Take it and put it there. Again, the same way. 
Now I told you earlier on, this is a very, very simple dish. Now I've got the lufa or the uh, batakolu ready. Now I'm going to chop a little bit of garlic. Once again, just a ran random slice, chop, 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 chop. I love this stove, you know, in whatever wind condition, baby does its job. I love this one. So, thank God for that. Right, done with that. Oil goes in. Okay, a little bit longer and then it's going to be okay. Right, I'm gonna put that. That's the sound you want. That's the chili chilies you want. Now what you're gonna do is take your vatakolu and just put it in like that. Get all that, the essence of the garlic into each and every piece. At this point, for the water color to get a bit soft, I'm going to just add in a pinch of water, not too much, just so. Yeah, the garlic does its magic. Doing its job to the maximum. Right? Now, we are going to add in the favorites of the Thai, which is the fish sauce, the soya sauce, and of course, the oyster sauce. First goes the oyster sauce, which will thicken the entire dish. Then goes the soya sauce. Now remember when you're putting fish sauce, which is the key ingredient of this dish, be very careful, very salty. You don't have to add any more additional salt. Just that is going to be more than enough. Let it simmer for a while. Mmm. Smells fabulous. And now, the final step is that we take two eggs. Put it in there. And then give it a nice, so the entire sauce gets nice and thickened. Try to keep the egg stranded thick because otherwise it will become, end up like a soup. So a little bit of big pieces here and there is not going to make any harm. So don't stir it too much until the egg is cooked. When the egg is done, we are done. Put the stove off. Just need to see if the... I'm gonna take just one piece over here. Mmm. Takes me back to Thailand. Wow. If you make this, right, at least once, you're gonna make it forever. And our poor old vegetable vatakolu will once again be a hit in the kitchen. Little bit of egg as well. Mmm. Fabulous. We are going to go on with our second dish, which is going to be with this little baby over here, the snake grout. Right, looks like a long snake. You remember we got this from the Korotwe in the morning. And this, one way of telling whether this is good is just a snap. 
and it's good you know if it breaks and if you feel if you see that grease little little liquid coming off which shines that is good okay then go ahead just bite but the problem is in the supermarkets it's already broken into two and it's wrapped in foil as well so anyway hope you can find the perfect one i'm going to make a stuffed snake grout it's very easy right i'm going to create first of all the ingredients that's going to go in that's the stuffing for that i'm going to use some minced chicken which i have already nicely minced going to put in a little bit of that you can put anything you want you know you can put beef you can put chicken uh, you can put uh, pork i've got a little bit of pork over here with all that beautiful fat and uh, that the fat is just oozing out going to put in that give it a good mix going to put in some salt and then going to put in some uh, pepper once again give it a good mix leave it aside and then we are going to go in with the things that we are going to heat before we put in the uh, the main base so i love these red chilies it's, it's it's simply amazing you need to have tiny chops so cut it into four quarters and another one give it a nice thin chop garlic once again and then give it the guillotine i'm going to add a little bit of ginger to it as well but before that i'm going to use some oil i can feel the heat just a little bit over there okay we're going to put in this beautifully minced chicken and the pork try to break it if you think there is still more pieces there right while that is cooking back with the ginger now the ginger has to be really really small because you wouldn't want pieces of ginger in your mouth then you know get the ginger as tiny as tiny as possible microscopic now this baby has been there enough i'm going to change it transfer it to this dish over here take off all the oil because i'm going to be using a different type of oil for the introduction of the chilies so take all that off put it back in fire on leave it aside now what we're going to use is uh, to to uh, cook the the chilies the ginger and the garlic i'm going to use a pinch of sesame oil now sesame oil you got to be very very careful it is a very powering oil the moment you add more you're going to ruin the entire dish so you got to be very very careful when you're using sesame oil or sesame seed oil the smell of it is as well you know so just a little bit there that's that's all you need just for that stingy flavor to come out let it heat for a while and then you would introduce the uh, other ingredients put all them together and at this point you would add in a bit of brown sugar just that just so it just 
helps the <coughs> ingredients to caramelize. And put in the meat. <coughs> now at this point, what I'm going to do is take well-boiled potatoes and then give it a nice mince just to thicken the filling. And put it all in there. So it has that, because it's, since it's a filling, you wouldn't want to have that uh, stickiness. You can actually put the heat off and give it a nice stir so that it'll be easy for us for the stuffing of the right. So now I'm going to leave that aside again. That's going to be used as a stuffing. Now, we're going to take these babies over here cut battens of about an inch there we are now what I'm going to do you can either use a scoop or you can use the back of a spoon and just extract the inside just like that give it a nice good scoop because you want to fill it with all the juicy stuffing you have put it in and just give it around right now it's the final touch that we're going to do is you take the mince now it's always wonderful to have your lime going in last because it gives that extra zing you know give it a little punch like so. And a beautiful lime. Now give it a mix again. Right. Now we are going to take these babies over here. Keep it like that. And use a smaller spoon. Stuff it right in. Place it there. And you do that with the rest for the team. So, there we are. The last one. Now what we're going to do is Take this plate over here, put the fire on. I'm gonna take some flour. Oil in the pan. So you put there, put there. Fill it up. Okay, once that is done, turn back the sides. Ah. That is hot. So basically what I've done is turn both sides. And now you turn it across and then let all the sides cook in as well. Now you can see nothing is going to come out because it's nicely sealed inside. 
All you got to do is just turn it around so that the entire circle is given a nice cook. Once that tenderness is there, just leave it off and then time to plate up. But before that, I'm going to just take one of these bad boys and give it a taste. Look at that beautiful color. Look at that. Now that's what, that's what you know, if you want to serve it as a finger food, you're having a party or something like that, you know, you're having all these stuffed eggs and you're having this and that. Why don't you do something like that? Your guests wouldn't even know what it is. It's like stuffed onion rings. Oh, 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 oh. boy, that was hot. I shouldn't have done that. Time to plate. Mm. I should seriously go for measuring classes. Some are long, some are short. Unbelievable. There we are. I'm going to leave that for some roast pan. Okay. We can use for the garnish a couple of You can actually use some of the lime if you want to get that citrusy feel into it. A bit of red there. That's done. There we are. Look at this. You can plant something like this in your own background. Why don't you do that? And from the crop that you get, do something like this. This is simply amazing. Give it to your friends, your party, whatever you do. Make this, they'll be impressed and you're bound to make them. Wow, this guy can cook. Well, with that, it's time for me to go. I'm, I really love being with you, being in this place and dishing all these beautiful things for you. Until we meet again. I'm going to disappear with this. You stay glued. Bye-bye.